nothing from the state except I was informed um, that this coffin situation that Mr. Goff was talking about did not have the defendant's names on them. They actually had the names of Mr. Arbery and I think George Floyd on them. So for the purposes of the record, I, and I didn't see this personally, I was informed by my people that it was misrepresented of what names were on these coffins um, that were being shown outside <coughs> as if it was somehow the defendant's names, and that's not the case, is what I've been informed, just for the record. Um, and I, and I, didn't think I, I did ask the, the sheriff if that was the case. I haven't seen them, and so I'm only relying on what I'm being told, so I wasn't going to spend a lot of time on the record, but that's consistent with what I was told. Again, I didn't see them. There's nothing before the court. I'm just basing this on representations made by counsel and uh, what I've been told by the sheriff's department. In addition, I only have one other issue that I think needs to be taken up at sidebar. Um, if we could okay. approach about that at um, some point. Is it substantive, logistics? Because with the defendants, is it something I need the defendants present for? Why don't you talk to counsel before Don't we do it? Yes, I can talk to Mr. Goff about that. Okay. Oh. And counsel about that. Okay. Why don't we, when we break then, let's hold the defendants and let counsel discuss whatever needs to be discussed. Thank you, Judge. See what happens. Uh, one last thing. When their jurors are leaving today, if there is this commotion, I expect you've got this all covered, yeah, but. Then we'll discuss with the Sheriff's Department and there's a plan in place. So that, um, uh, to my satisfaction, I don't believe there will be any issues. Okay, and so that you and I are using the same uh, idea when we talk about issues, I surely that I understand that their safety would be protected. Will they actually be aware, however, of what's been going on as they leave? Um, let's go ahead and talk about this in chambers. In chambers. All right, very good. Thank you, Your Honor. On that note, Your Honor. The issue that we have is making sure that the record is clear that they have heard or haven't. That's number one. Number two, that they don't feel like or are made to feel like they're in danger by ushering them into internal rooms, which I understand is necessary, but I worry that the act of doing so creates an issue. Maybe that's not beyond us. A little bit more than so. When I walked in, I could hear some noise outside. It's muffled, you can't really hear it. But I was listening for it because it was the first time I've been in that room during really the proceedings. Okay. I heard something and did in fact say, oh, have y'all been hearing this? And the response was, oh, we just heard that. That's it. So no, and it's muffled, you can't actually hear what it is. You just hear there's a commotion. What I heard was just, it. apparently right as I went into the room, the, a group went around the side of the building. So it was on my radar and just for the record, heard it. And um, no, it, it, it is not, uh, it is not, I, I understand the concern and I understanding where we are with the case. I uh, thought I'd put it on the record simply to say, here's what we're doing. But no, they're not being moved because there's a commotion outside. They're being moved because I thought based simply upon that and me hearing that, it was in the best interest of the court to go ahead and put them into one of the courtroom's interior. Thank you. Also, uh, if the court could put in place <clears throat> something to prevent during deliberation people walking around the courthouse, it's not a necessary feature of the First Amendment that they walk on all four sides of the courthouse <clears throat> to make their First Amendment speech heard and known. If we could keep them on the front, if the court could do that with the sheriff's department, we would ask that you do that. We, we just think this is a tipping point issue for the jury if there's any chance of them hearing that or seeing that. I'll think that through, um, candidly, my, I have some concerns about doing that, only that any action of the court or the sheriff's department generally is met with a, some type of a reaction. Um, and I don't want to, um, I don't want to do that. I don't want to create problems where there aren't any. It's just a matter of this afternoon, there was a group that walked around the courthouse and I could hear it. That's one thing. Um, if it is something different or becomes much more significant, then I need to figure out how to address that and make sure that there isn't an issue with the jury. I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, understand the concern though. Thank you. 